How to make a floating Polaroid effect. Select your clip, make it a new fusion clip, and go to the fusion page. Hit command and space, search for the camera tracker, and add it to your clip. Go in the controls panel, check the preview auto track locations. Adjust the sliders until you've got enough tracking points, and hit the auto track button. In the camera tab, you can give the information about the camera you used, but I will just leave it like this, and let the AI demon do the work for me. Go to the solve tab, ignore everything and hit the solve button. When it is finished, check the average solve error number, anything below one will be good. If you have a higher number like I do, then you need to select the red tracking points through your clip, and hit the delete button. When you've deleted all the red points, hit the solve button again. Check the error number, if it is lower than 1, then you are ready. Go to the export tab, and hit export. It will give you all these nodes, move them closer to keep things organized. You don't need the camera tracker anymore, delete it and disconnect your clip, take the tracker render node and connect this one back. Select the 3D merge node and add it to the preview window. Now you have a 3D tracking points with the camera movement. Import your Polaroid photo in the workspace, add an image plane 3D node, and connect it to the merge 3D node. Go to the transform tab, and move your image in 3D space. Rotate it, move it around, scale it, and place it where you think is good for you. For the Polaroid photo, simply Google one and place your photo inside the borders. If you are that lazy, I will leave one in the description. Do the same thing for every photo you have, and connect it to the same merge 3D node. You will end up like this. One thing I forgot to mention, is that you have to select the ground plane node, and under the visibility tab, uncheck the visible box. You can now go back to the edit page. I've just added a zoom in transition and made a simple grading. If you like this video, then you have a great taste. Thanks for watching.